All right, who is ready for the unboxing of the A9 Mark III? All right, so, you know what? Forget this. Let's just go shoot. Alpha. So it is a little busy here at the fish cleaning table, but wanted to let you guys know what I plan on doing. I'm going to hook up the Sony 200 to 600 lens, and I'm going to hook up my external recording monitor, and I will share the tracking with you on this next seg segment. So stay tuned, let's check out this tracking. All right, so got the external monitor hooked up and got used to having to look through the monitor instead of the viewfinder and the birds finally decided to cooperate. But I, I believe that the tracking works really good on this camera. As you can see, especially when the birds are flying around like this, and you have people walking in front, it stays on the bird and just totally ignores the person. Follow this little guy walking, but then it picked up on the other eye. But these birds flying and people walking in front was pretty good in my opinion. Got some really killer shots of seagulls. Alright, so we are off to another location. This one is probably the most popular one here in the um, Corpus Christi area. Alright, so here we are pulling up to one of the bird spots here in Port Aransas. And as usual, it is packed. So we'll park over here in the overflow parking. Springtime birding here in South Texas is kind of a big deal. We got a lot of them. They come through here when they're going, right now they're going to be going back south. Not to mention we have all of our usual residents who live here year round. And then we got a bunch of them that winter down here that are getting ready to head out for the winter, like the whooping cranes. Alright, so let's go walk this boardwalk and see what we can find. Alright, so here we are at the boardwalk, and I'm just kind of zipping through here. Looks like we might have a pretty good chance of seeing something today. Lots of things reported. So this boardwalk was rebuilt after Harvey, um, Hurricane Harvey that is. It took the other one out completely. Now we got a couple miles. Here's a Rosiette Spoonbill. They're so gorgeous. And our local alligator, his name is Boots. He feasts on wild pigs. All right, so here's some more tracking. Um, you need to take into consideration that this is a really cloudy day and my lighting was horrible this day. But even though we had low light, we still got some really good shots. Here's some shovelers coming, flying right at me. I gotta go back another day when the lighting is better because I think these photos would have just turned out amazing if I would have had good lighting. It turned out pretty good even though we had um, bad lighting. That A1 is pretty darn sharp. Oh, and that lens that I'm using is the 200 to 600 Sony f6.3 and it does a really good job i'm not real sure if that lens is capable of 120 frames per second but if anything i'm probably getting at least 60 frames per second so this little video clip was taken with my iphone on the ferry as i crossed over got some dolphins to come visit heading off to another bird location and I was hoping the sun would come out 
but it just kept getting foggier. Alright, so we just pulled up to one of my favorite bird spots just outside Corpus Christi. We are going to get out and take the A9-3 and we're going to take it out and we're going to uh, mostly take images with the A9 and get out of the truck here. We're going to go over here and get set up on one of these bird platforms and see what kind of uh, bird footage we can get. Get some beautiful bird footage. That's my goal. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we made it to the other side of the bridge and we got a little bit of sunlight. That's a neotropical pomerant. Here we got a little willet down in the water, stretching. Got a little sunlight on him, that's really nice. Notice that it catches all the little droplets of water. This little guy is stretching. That's an American Avid. So I was using the Sony 200 to 600 lens while I was doing this review, but I'm not 100% sure if that lens is capable of the 120 frames per second because the updates for the lenses have not been released yet. Oh, watch this. This is killer here. He catches a stick and then he drops it. See that? Isn't that a killer shot there? Guess he decided that stick doesn't taste very good. So that's a common turn in those photos. They're a real challenge to photograph. They're so switchbacky and you notice quickly. Oh, here's another one of my favorite birds, of course. They're all my favorite. That would be a white morph reddish egret. They're the funnest to watch fish, but he wasn't interested in having any part of me that night. Some little American abbots walking by. And here we got a great blue heron hiding in the bushes. These next two clips are videos that I put together out of uh, each one contains just under 200 pictures and I stitched them together to create a time lapse that simulates a video since this camera does shoot at 120 frames per second. Each one of those clips I took the picture with the A9 III and the, the 600 millimeter lens f4 so I was shooting at 120 frames per second and 120 frames pre-capture. So let's take a look at those. Okay, so let's go over a couple things on this camera. First, I want to mention that they added this C5 button in the front right there. And I actually have that button set through custom functions um, to actually slow the camera down. So I shoot it at basically full throttle, 120 frames per second and 120 frames pre-capture because I love speed. And then if I have a bird just sitting still, I just push this button, it toggles it down to five frames, five frames per second. And then when I push it again, I resume back to 120 frames per second. And if I ever get tired of speed, then I'll dial it down a notch or two, but um, right now I'm really enjoying the speed. And the other thing that it has is the little flippy straight screen that flips out, flips around. It's a really nice screen. I hope it comes out on all cameras from this day forward. And then they also added this little asterisk right here on the top dial, where you dial in your um, selected dry speed, high speed, high speed plus single frame, high speed, medium, low, uh, timer and bracketing. So when you have it set on the asterisk, you can now change it through a custom function, or through a custom button, or you can change it through the menu screen on the back of your camera. And the 
other main thing that they changed is the grip. The grip is bigger now uh, than the A1. So here's the A1. The A1 grip is definitely smaller. Now that I've been shooting this for the past two weeks now, I really like this new grip. Uh, it fits your hand so much better now. So that's really the only two things, I mean, the only specs that I'm really gonna talk about in this video. I'll do another video um, later on. I'll go through all of the menu functions and how I have my menu set up. Um, but I need to go through that menu and make sure I got it set up the way that I want it to be set up before I share it with y'all. And I'll also do a video comparison of the A9 III versus the Sony A1 as well. Um, so look for those videos in the future. Meanwhile, watch this video right here and I'll catch you on the next video. Have a great one.